What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Corey here, AKA M3 Black Shadow. And I am here in my driveway with my M3 after a long road trip and gravel roads. She is absolutely filthy. And today I'm gonna show you guys the quick and easy way of cleaning your car. Okay, let me start off by saying that this car has been ceramic coated using Adams Polish's UV ceramic coating. For those of you who do not know what a ceramic coating is, it is essentially a very hard, it's called 9H hardness uh, coating that goes over, over top of the paint, requires a paint correction and special paint preparation. Maybe I'll do a whole other video on that sometime, but it lasts five years. It makes the paint extremely hydrophobic and it prevents dirt and dust from really sticking hard to the paint. So because it's ceramic coated, it makes washing and cleaning this car way easier than it would be if it was not ceramic coated. However, the techniques that I'm gonna show you in this video can be used on a non-ceramic coated car that is not super dirty. Uh, if your car is very dirty, there is another video that I made on how to properly wash your car with the two bucket method. I will link those in the description below. Let's get started. Okay, so I always like to start with the inside of the car first. Having a convertible, you can put the top down, makes it way easier. Okay, so for the inside, we're gonna use Adams Polish's barrel vacuum. I love Adams Polish's because everything is designed for cars. You can use any vacuum for this job, obviously, but what's nice about this is they specifically designed it for cars. This, this hose is nice and soft. It's a soft rubberized hose. They have uh, a brush attachment, which also swivels, and it also has a gauge on here to let you know when it gets full it turns uh, it starts to turn red when uh, this gets really filled up so you know to empty it uh, but it's really compact it's light it's easy to maneuver you can even take it and put it inside the car uh, to get to a tough spot but this hose is so long you don't even need to Okay, now that the vacuuming is complete, we move on to the next step, 
which is to clean the leather, clean the inside. Uh, I use Adams Polishes Leather and Interior Cleaner. I use this first, along with just this durable rag, this microfiber rag uh, that you can get through Adams as well. I go around, I clean everything, just make sure all of the dirt is off of it. Alternatively, you could also use Interior Detailer. Um, there are a couple of ways that you could go about this. You could do the leather and interior cleaner first, and then you could finish up with uh, the interior detailer. It provides a little bit of gloss, a little bit of protection uh, in between conditioning, or you could do this, and then you could move on to Adams Polish's leather conditioner. So I think the seats are a little bit showing some, they need a little bit of love, so I think I'm actually gonna go with the conditioner today, uh, but we'll start with this. All right, sometimes I forget how effective Adam's polishes actually is. All their stuff is so good. Uh, so I just went through and I cleaned it with the leather and interior cleaner. And I said I was gonna condition it, but I'm actually gonna skip that today just because the leather actually looked really good after cleaning it up. It was just dirty in some spots. So uh, I'm gonna go around the car one more time with Adam's interior detailer and we're gonna use that just to make everything nice and shiny and get everything a little bit protected so we'll do that and then we'll be done with the inside All right, the inside is all cleaned up. Let's go ahead and put the top up so we can do the outside. All right, so let's start with all of the things that I use to wash my car. So this is the quick and easy way of getting this car as clean as possible, as quickly as possible. The first thing is Adams Polish's pressure washer. You can use any pressure washer, but if you can spare some extra change, the Adams Polishes pressure washer is amazing. It really is designed specifically for automotive use. And one of my favorite features here, it has this rubber guard on it. Uh, if you've used a regular pressure washer when washing your car, you know that it's pretty easy to accidentally graze this against the car, against the paint, cause a scratch. So this, this guard prevents that from happening. Also, you can detach this from the actual gun here uh, and you can attach the foam cannon which I'm going to talk about in a second right up to this and then it makes it really easy to get the whole car uh, all foamed down so pressure washer is key start off with that everything else here so we have our foam cannon uh, this provides extra lubrication it also uh, gets a nice coating of soap on the car and then we can clean the car after that much easier once that soap is kind of uh, knocked off some of that debris and, and road grime that is clung on to the paint. Uh, so we have that. Then we have our wheel and tire cleaner. This is awesome. Uh, for those of you guys who really like that, I, I don't know if you've seen it, uh, Adams Polishes sells wheel cleaner by itself, which turns purple and it's a pretty cool effect and then you can wash it off. Uh, this works as well, if not better but it also addresses the tire. So it's kind of like a two-in-one type of thing. Highly recommend this. So wheel and tire cleaner, that's a must. Megaphone, this is what I use in the foam cannon along with water. Then we have our waterless wash, and I'm gonna get to how we're gonna use that in a minute. We have our tire shine for the end. We also have a foam applicator pad, which I forgot to bring out. And then, you have one of two options. Actually, you have several options. Adams Polishes offers several different types of protection that you can put on here from sealants to waxes, you know, whatever really 
is what you're looking for. Um, the two that I prefer, CS3 is great because you can actually use it almost as a waterless watch by itself. Uh, or I have Ceramic Boost, which is great for a ceramic coated surface and provides several months of protection by itself. So either one of these will do the job. This wheel brush is great for use with the wheel and tire cleaner so you can get both all of the spokes and the tires and then the sidekick blaster which is really good for getting the car nice and dry uh, in all of the seams where water tends to dry, drip down after you've already washed the car so this is a really key uh, investment and it's not that expensive through Adams Polish's website and then finally you need a white microfiber towel and a gray plush towel so let's get started and I'll show you guys how we do it. All right, so first things first, I didn't mention this, but you need a garden hose. I have one that I picked up at Lowe's. It was pretty cheap. I use the shower attachment. First thing, rinse the whole car down. You'll see a lot of this stuff will just come off and break loose. And you can already see this ceramic coating working. I mean, look at that. It's unbelievable. And what's really great about it is that it also takes a lot of the dirt with it. Okay, next up, I'm gonna move to this, it's called center, and just has a little bit more force to it. Knock some of that remaining dirt off. Get underneath. Right, so the first thing is to rinse the car down. Once you've rinsed the car down, next step is to grab your wheel and tire cleaner, go around the car, go to all the wheels, spray them down really good so that it starts working on that brake dust and pulling all of those, that dirt, grime, and brake dust away from the wheels. Okay, once the wheel and tire cleaner has been sitting on the wheels, removing that brake dust, clinging to it, now what we need to do is agitate it with this brush. But uh, it's already started to dry a little bit, so I take the garden hose and I just rinse this down a little bit, put it on the shower setting, get some of that water out, and then just go over the whole wheel. And remember, this is also for the tires. Okay, once you've done that and agitated the wheel and tire cleaner, you can see that the dirt and grime and brake dust is already pulled away and dripping down. So the next step is to hook up the power washer and get it ready to use. All right, now that it's all ready, what we're going to do first is power wash the wheels because we don't want that wheel cleaner sitting on there for too long. So I'm just going to grab this guy and get at it. It really works so well. It just blasts everything off. You also want to get in the wheel wells where there's probably dirt. see the dirt there 
look at that on the ground all around it. Okay, wheels are all clean. Next step, foam cannon. You can really see how it works, but the, uh, the ceramic coating really resists any kind of liquid. It's amazing. Uh, if this was not ceramic coated, it would be, the foam would just stick right to it. You can kind of see where it's starting to run off. Um, and that is just because of the ceramic. Okay, so the next step here, we foam cannon the whole car. So the next step is quite simply to power wash it off. And this is where things get a little bit different from the traditional two bucket method, which I've made a separate video on. I've linked that in the description below as I had alluded to earlier. Um, instead of doing the full two bucket method, we are actually going to power wash all of the dirt and grime off of the car. We are going to dry it with the Sidekick Blaster and then we are going to waterless wash it. So this is where things get way faster and easier than that traditional method. All right, so we have power washed the car, blasted all of that dirt and grime off of the paint, but you'll notice that the top still has foam on it, and that's because I did not want to pressure wash the top and stretch it out or damage it in any way. So what we're gonna do is switch back to the garden hose and get the rest of the soap and suds off of the car with the garden hose. First, we're gonna use just the standard garden hose attachment, and then we're gonna actually take that off, and we're gonna use just the hose itself, which creates a nice, smooth stream of water to remove the majority of the water to prevent water spots before we hit the dryer. All right, next up, Sidekick Blaster. We're gonna get all of the water off of the paint so we can start doing our waterless wash process. All right, so as you can see, the car is very clean. 
Everything we've done up to this point gets you about 70% of the way there. Uh, the car is still dirty. If you look kind of closely, you'll see some residual dirt spots that have been left behind by some of the gravel roads. But the idea here is that everything that can scratch the car, everything that can kind of harm the paint was blasted off with the power washer and with the foam cannon. So now it's safe to waterless wash the car. Remember, my car is ceramic coated, so if yours isn't and it's as dirty as mine was when I started, probably be a good idea to use the two bucket method. But if you like to take care of your car and keep it clean once a week, you could do this method, which probably takes about 45 minutes. The interior took me a while because it was so dirty on this car uh, today. But uh, overall, I can usually be in and out of here in 45 minutes and the car is looking spotless when I'm done. So onto the waterless washing process. So waterless washing process, pretty simple. All you need are three things. You need a gray plush towel, you need a white microfiber towel, and you need waterless wash. You could buy waterless wash on Adams Polish's website, or what you could do is you could actually buy the rinseless wash. It's a blue bottle, and it's I think it's like 15 to 20 bucks, something like that. But one ounce of that mixed with distilled water actually makes 16 ounces of waterless wash. It's a trick, way more cost effective. Let's get started with this. Okay, so this process is super simple. All you do is you take your gray plush towel, you fold it, okay, in a square, take your waterless wash, saturate one side, okay, then you're gonna come over to the car, spray one, I do about half the hood, okay, and then take the gray plush towel, towel and very lightly go over the paint just like that no pressure just the pressure of the towel okay and the idea here is that we're lifting the rest of the dirt off of the paint okay so we've done that now we're going to flip it to the other side the side is clean now the key here is remembering which side so now i've got the dirty side facing down we're going to come over one more time we're actually going to apply some pressure and you can actually kind of scrub and lift the rest of the crap off. Okay. So now the side is clean. Remember now I got the dirty side facing down. Now dirty side is facing up. I'm going to take my clean microfiber towel and I'm just going to remove the residual waterless wash and I'm fighting sunset here but the paint is absolutely spotless All right, so she is all cleaned up after doing the waterless wash method. You can see there are no swirls or scratches or anything like that in the paint. Everything is looking really, really good. Uh, again, I'm, it's getting dark here, so I had to flip some lights on. Uh, at this point, you could actually be done. Uh, you could wrap up, you could throw some dressing on the tires. Uh, you could use some tire shine uh, or what you could do is you could finish off with a nice coat of ceramic uh, ceramic boost or CS3 which provides uh, an additional additional protection as a sealant um, but it is getting dark so I'm not gonna be able to show the rest of it um, but 
That's it. It's quite simple. So it takes about 45 minutes and the car is looking spickety span, sparkly, fantastic. All right, that's it. She's all clean. Thank you for joining for this video. Soon, I'm gonna be posting a full review of the E46 M3. Also, I'm replacing the clutch on my M5 and I'm gonna be posting up a video of that. It's not gonna be so much of a DIY as just kind of taking you on the journey with me. I have no clue what I'm doing and I'm just kind of stumbling my way through it. So again, hit me on Instagram, M3 Black Shadow. Click like, click subscribe. Till next time. All right, it is the next morning in sunlight. And you can see in direct sunlight, there are no swirls, no scratches. Paint is perfect.